Hello again, Andy with Handy Andy, and today we're out in coming, going through a client's house. And so one of the things we have to do for her is clean her gutters. Um, she's got a few repairs to do. These are five inch gutters, and at some point we'll probably want to change the gutter in the back of her house to six inch. We're gonna rush because we've got rain coming our way. And so you see this in a lot of our videos. Um, when they nail spikes to hang these gutters, you can see this one right here is popped loose. So we'll add some five inch screws to it. Um, one of the things when you're paying for gutter cleaners, a lot of these guys will just walk these things with a leaf blower and blow all the debris out. You see all the debris that's sitting in the gutters in the corners right here as well. Um, and so what we do is we jet water down the downspouts once a year to flush them clean. Uh, so here we'll add some hidden hanger screws. You're going to see some rot on these front windows. We're at the front garage right here uh, on this right window. When you see this kind of wrinkling, you saw it earlier in the other videos. If you get up on it, you'll see it looks like wrinkled skin. As soon as you see that, you know it's rotted. So we'll come in and just piece part of that in. We do a weather cut, we back prime it so it won't rot again. Uh, it's the right way to do this. We fight with other contractors all the time. They have their own way. They'd rather replace the whole stick and put vinyl or some uh, material they think is not gonna break down. But trim on your house is sacrificial. So we'd rather just piece in like here on this left front garage window. That right brick mold needs to be replaced. And when the guys are out, they'll probe the rest of this stuff. I can't catch all of it when I'm doing a, a bid like this. This gutter is completely getting crushed. Water's coming over the top from here to here, and now it's rotted out the, the base of these columns right here. So we'll rebuild these, these bases right here. At the right side of the front bay window, um, you can see again where the gutters are leaking. And here they had to put screws There's no in the bottom. There's no way to really hold this well. So we just need to seal the gutters once we clean them. This piece down here has been getting so much water overflow that it's rotted this base panel. So here we'll change this out to um, hardy plank and so it won't rot again. And then we'll actually have to custom make this bottom plate right here out of pressure treated. The angle is off the way that the builder did it. Uh, so my brother will actually do this one. Fortunately, we are blessed to have two master carpenters on staff. They can pretty much do anything out of wood. I don't really have that skill. I can do it, but not as good as my brother. Uh, and so right here in this corner of the bay window, we got some rot right here in the face in the soffit. And it's going to be hard to see because the sun's trying to break through the storm cloud that's coming. There you go right there. You can see where the soffit is the underside piece. See how it's dropped down is rotted all in there. And the fascia behind the gutter is rotted as well. It's just because the gutters have been, been clogged and kept that way. The cool thing about Handy Andy is once you get with us, we can pretty much do anything. We do everything except swimming pools and air conditioning. So lots of rotted trim, electrical plumbing, painting, flooring, basements, kitchens, bathrooms, roof repairs, lots of decks and deck repairs, tons of this stuff. When the guys are out, they can just touch up this paint right now so it doesn't lead to some rot for her. Again, you'll see the wrinkling in the right side uh, garage window right here. This left piece is rotted. And then we'll come down through the backyard. She had some contractors out here a few years ago and they made uh, horizontal cuts on this trim on the back windows. And uh, that's the wrong way to do it. The horizontal cut will trap water, and you really don't want that. Uh, it'll just rot out and get into the framing. So you want everything cut at an angle, a weather cut. So she's got a couple windows right here. This window and the one next to it, the boys will rework that at no cost to her. I hate that her landscaper came in here and put this underground drain pipe because it's corrugated. You never want to put black corrugated pipe underground. Um, so now we just need to pop that gutter clean and, and clear it uh, with a high-pressurized aerator. You can see she's got trees growing up here in this gutter because this downspout is clogged. Um, that in turn led to water getting in at the deck. There's so much water coming over the top of these gutters right now that it's been hitting the flashing uh, behind this deck and getting inside behind this wall. So I won't show that in the video, but we need to open up both sides of the wall on either side of this French door, treat it with microband to kill the mold. Um, it's really too small of a repair to, to run it through her insurance. Um, but we handle a lot of water drainage issues. And again, you can see the same thing here. This gutter here on the right side is the end going in a corrugated pipe. This really needs to be changed out for smooth pipe. Fortunately, it doesn't go very far. It looks like it's still running because you can see kind of the, the flow behind it. Uh, but we'll check it as well. But my guess is that they tied this. This right piece is a foundation drain and they've tied them together, which really isn't a very good idea. So uh, we need to keep an eye on that. Um, the deck itself, not bad. Uh, we need to restain it for her. And so once you start doing your deck, if it's wood, uh, here she's got four treads that need to be replaced, five quarter board by six. Uh, and it's really just because they nailed them. So you can see a couple of them like this one right here. See a move when I put 
my 220 pounds on it. And there's a few of them in here. They use uh, high pressure nail guns to do this. You can see this tread right here split as well and the one above it. Uh, and so we'll restain this. So you can change colors, it takes two coats to do that. Uh, but then what we encourage homeowners to do is every other year, do the railing, do the decking. You're just rotating and then you'll stay, you'll stay up on it. It's more cost effective to do it that way. A lot of contractors come out and try to sell her to change all this decking out to tracks or, or new pressure treated wood for a better finish. The problem is this is old growth wood. And so you want to keep this wood as long as you can. She's got a couple pieces over here. There's one right here at the door that will change out. And then you can get a closer look. This is a horizontal cut. This is what most carpenters will do in Atlanta because they're not really carpenters. And all it'll do is it'll trap the water and rot this piece and rot this piece out again. So you want to have a nice angle cut like my finger. Cut to the front so any moisture gets behind it sheds to the front. Here what we'll end up doing in this deck area, we'll create a pressure treated plate for her to keep that water. Right now, so much water is coming over the gutters. It's coming down the side of the house and it's leaching in behind the flashing that's in place behind this deck. When they install metal flashing, they nail through it. So eventually it's going to leak. When we add our flashing plate, it'll kick the water out to the first board and it'll just drop down to the basement where it belongs. Right now, the water is actually getting into the wall cavity and starting to cause her some problems down in the basement. Um, on the deck itself, outside of staining and cleaning it up, this corner post right here, the sellers puttied it a few years ago before she bought it and now the bees are in it. Uh, and so we'll replace this piece. My brother, look at this one. This one's not really very sturdy. Uh, so we need to secure this post or replace it as well. So all, you know, kind of maintenance type stuff. But the great thing about Handy Andy is once you get with us, we can pretty much do it all. We're at 770-912-2829 is the office. You can catch me sometimes personally at 770-265-9017. I'm Andy. See you at the next house. Bye for now.